A fast-growing economy and easy access to good food has led to fast-growing wastelines in China over the past two decades. Data from the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention show about 10% of over 18s were classified as obese in 2010, and that number is increasing rapidly. Our obesity ratio is not as high as Europe and the US, but we have a far larger population base and our rate of increase is very fast. We record an annual increase of 4% for the overweight population and 9% for the clinically obese population. The increase rate is quite high, particularly among the male population. China spent about $330 million on health projects last year, trying to get the nation moving. Wang Xing's concerns about his long-term health led him to join this weight loss program in Beijing. Some friends of mine are getting cerebral thrombosis and hemorrhages when they're only in their mid-30s. It made me realize it's quite easy for overweight guys like us to get these diseases. That's why I'm here, to reduce my weight. Living conditions are better. People are eating better than before. However, they are not selective enough about eating food. They stuff all kinds of delicious food into their mouths and have become fond of eating. This has tremendously increased the burden on our bodies. Rates of obesity-related diseases such as diabetes are soaring in China, putting a strain on the health system. But government policy and public health campaigns can change eating habits. Denmark introduced strict trans fat regulations and, it's reported, South Korea's public education program has managed to increase the intake of fruit and vegetables. Rosalind Chin, Bloomberg, Hong Kong.